He says, first I will read, then we will start from one where one will involve everyone. Is an organization that plans by using comprehensive budgeting. The master budget is, what is master budget who is, if a company is using comprehensive budgeting. Comprehensive budgeting, master budgeting and uh, the annual profit plan, these are the three same things. So if you see this option, a compilation of all the separate operational and financial budget schedule of the organization, right? So just we know that if you see the diagram, diagram was telling that it's a compilation of operational and it leads to the financial. So A option is the right option. If you see B option, the booklet containing budget guidelines, policies and form, that is not a master budget, it's a budget manual to explain that how we make budget. He's talking about master budget. Master budget is a compilation of operating and financial budget. C option is the current budget updated for operations. Yes, it is operation, but where is the financial because master budget include operation and financial. That's why it's a close option, but it's not a right option. Then a budget of not-for-profit organization. So we can see it can be a budget for profit organization, it can be a bank. So this information is not a right information. A information is the right information. Let's do another question in preparing a corporate master budget. Means we are making a master budget. Corporate means for a company. Which one of the following is most likely to prepare last? Means which is at the last. Okay. If you see sales budget, is the last? No. Or is it should be the first question. Okay. What about production? Okay. Now I have another question. Out of these four options, how many is related to financial? Budget? All of you believe that only one out of four belongs to financial budget. Okay. Which one is this? Cash. 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 Cash budget is the financial. And how many of these will belongs to operating? Now we'll start from this side, you will read and uh, next yeah. Which one of the following is not an advantage of activity-based budgeting? Uh, okay, wait. Activity-based budgeting we didn't discuss. This will come in the costing part. But, you know, because questions are not unit-wise, like it's not, question is a merger of all. So activity-based costing is, that is helping us in the reduction of planning, uncertainty. So for time being you memorize in a way that activity based helps you to avoid uncertainties. But what is activity based, how it works, how we calculate? Yes, next. An advantage of incremental budgeting. Incremental budgeting means traditional budgeting, means the normal budget. 2006, 7, 8, we are based on. Yeah. When compared with zero based budgeting, is the incremental budgeting. Accepts the existing base as being satisfactory. Traditional budgeting assume that whatever budget you have is the existing is is you know is a benchmark to start with the new. But in zero base, what we assume. Ex does not accept the existing existing base. It says everything is zero. Let's go ahead. A systemized approach, known as zero-based budgeting, divides the activities of individual responsibility among those centers into a series of families that are zero-based budgeting is more applicable. This is we have performance management discussion. Where we'll discuss the responsibility centers. What we do is we make every department responsible for their income and expenses, right? So that case, if you if you start them for zero base, that will be more helpful than to our traditional budget. Continuous profit plan. 
is a plan that is revised monthly or quarterly. Continuous rolling, which you have flexible, is something which we revise every month, every time, every quarter. Yeah, next. Uh, a continuous rolling budget, mm -hmm. jobs that current month of per quarter and as future months per quarter of the current month. Yeah, he says the rolling, rolling drops the previous one, drops the current month for a quarter, whatever is he drops and make a new for the next quarter. This is a rolling. See this one. The type of budget that is available on a continuous basis for the specified future period by adding a month quarter or year in the future of as a month, quarter or year, just in this, his job is called a rolling budget. Now this, this is very interesting, he says a type of budget which is available continuous basis, right? So, rolling budget is... Next static, static budget is... Is a present, present a plan for only one level of activities and does not... Static is fixed, so it only... Yes. Which one of the following statements regarding the difference between the flexible budget and the static budget is true? The flexible budget provides cost allowances for different levels of activities, whereas the static budget provides cost for one level. Flexible works for different level and static work for one level. One level. Yes, sir. Uh, the use of the master budget throughout the year as a constant comparison with actual results signifies that the master budget is also a static budget. So, <laughs> use of master budget throughout the year as constant in comparison with actual result signifies that master budget is also a static. Because once we fix a budget, it becomes fixed, right? Mm -hmm. Even it's a master budget, we fix it one time in the start, we approve and it implemented over the period of time. We can change with the management approval. So there is a procedure and you cannot do it multiple If a man has 100 companies, like here people have 100 companies, and you want to meet him for a revision in budget, two months, three months you are waiting for, then if it is a joint venture, one partner from US, one is from here, they, they are unable to sit in one time. So generally master budget fixed for one year, in emergency cases, we can call for a meeting and we can do, revise it. This is internal, there is no restriction. But as I told you, if the company is big and setup is large, it's very difficult to revise it again. Yeah. Flexible budget is uh, appropriate for control, uh, control of di uh, direct labor and direct materials, but not fixed factory overhead. He says it's good to use flexible budget for labor and material. But because fixed overhead always fails, so use. The method of budgeting in which the cost of uh, each program must be justified. Uh, starting justified program. word is a key word. We just discussed zero based budgeting, manager has to justify, right? So if he says a method of budgeting in which the cost of each program must be justified should be a zero. After the goals of the company have been established and communicated, the next step in the planning process is development of the sales capital. Yes. He said that once the goals have been established, then the next is sales, and the next is and the next is okay. Flexible budgets. Flexible budgets accommodate changes in activities. Name shows a flexible which accommodated. See, when we're paying a performance about for cost cost center using flexible, flexible budgeting techniques. techniques. The plan cost columns. Okay, what we can see is when preparing a performance report for a cost center, cost center being a department responsible for cost. Using flexible budgeting technique, the plan cost column should be based on budget adjusted to the actual level. This is unit seven we'll discuss. 
Yes. Which one of the following vaccine methodology would be most appropriate for a firm facing a significant level of uncertainty in unit sales volume?